Thank you for the blessing, man, coming through, rocking with us. Nothing you know but saying? love, man. Um, appreciate, appreciate the uh, opportunity. Yeah, thank you, bro. First off, I just want to say, man, for anybody who don't know, who is JT the Bigger Figure? JT the Bigger Figure, man, that's me, okay? Bay Area legend. My career started in 1992. I put out 100 albums, 12 solo albums, four group albums, GLP, San Quinn, Demo the Youngster, Rich the Factor, Player P, Seth the Gaffler. Uh, I did joint albums with Daz Dillinger, two albums. I did an album with Juvenile. I did an album with Gucci Man. I did an album with Kevin Gates before he was Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. uh, I got an EP with the boy Young Thug when he was a <laughs> Okay. Uh, and I done did about 30 movies. Mm. Um, but just to take y'all back so y'all get an understanding, I'm from the Bay Area, San Francisco, Fillmore District, West Coast. I moved to Atlanta in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, 2012, that's when I came with the name Feed Panamera. I had bought a Porsche Panamera and uh, was already calling me Feed, you know what I mean? And my young daughter said, hey Panamera, Panamera. I said, oh boy, I've been looking for another name. Cause JT the bigger figure, I didn't, I didn't do that name. I didn't, it's legendary, that mm -hmm. name legendary. When you Google JT the bigger figure. It's everywhere. Figure, it just got a long history, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I knew that I had to, recreate myself. I knew that I had to to be relevant, you know what I mean, in the game. Today, this is a young game. The young running. The young niggas run the beats. The young niggas run the streets. But niggas who done it in the past, a lot of times, don't know how to recalibrate, reconfigure you can't be nobody sitting over right now. Oh my God. To be able to be relevant in this particular time period. You know, you can't live off all your old work. Mm. When I went to Atlanta, they were like, oh yeah, JT Bigger Figure, oh yeah, he was on I'm About It uh, soundtrack. Yeah. Let's go back. You know, C Bowl, E40, Smith, it all. Okay, that's fine. Is or can be your best benefit. Why? Because, man, I sent out so many demos, man. Them folk they ain't called me back, man. My ego, like man, I didn't. I just back then it wasn't no email. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no internet. Mm -hmm. It wasn't none of that. You had to put a package you together, mail it. and if you mail it regular mail, your shit go to the bottom. Mm -hmm. But when I start looking up executives and you know ARs for labels, they ask that, but that's thirty five dollars, right. forty two dollars, depending on where you send it. You got twenty five labels. Your pockets, you got to have some money right, just right, to right. send your demo. Long story short. It didn't happen. 93, the very next year, I worked on the album all the way to the end of the year, November. Players in the game. Um, my my first album that I produced everything in my bedroom. Y'all tired of waiting on the beats, tired of waiting to get in the lab. When I made that album, it was right after Dr. Dre. And what's crazy, Dr. Dre started Dev Row with the Chronic album, dropped November 16, 1992. I dropped November 16, 1992. Same so watch thing. how God worked. One year later, I'm learning from this Chronic album. Everybody on the Chronic album. I'm trying to figure out how this beats and got the you know, all these funk sounds and all this shit. And I'm like, what? I got to learn this because I'm a producer now. Right. I want to be Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and shit together. Now. And that's what I achieved in 1993 with my album, Fans in the Game. Okay. That album got me on the radio, got me on TV, and then, uh, 94, I had a goal. If I'm hot with this three projects I didn't drop, as a young I'm finna, I'm finna produce all my, I'm finna produce everything in my hood. Mm -hmm. Including Master P I was project. gonna say, let's, let's, so let's get to that, man. So yeah. early Bay area, the boy Master P, was in your studio, man. Talk about that. Man, um, you know, Master P was dope dealer. Mm -hmm. Started a record store called No Limit Records. He's selling all our shit, but he like selling everybody else's shit. He wanna be the rapper now. Right. He wasn't that good. Older from New Orleans, not from the Bay, so he didn't really comprehend our swag. So when he started dropping his music, it sounded like some other shit. It was kind of corny a little bit. But Called my phone because I put my number on the back of all my CDs. 
be like, yo, I want to meet you, bro. I want you to get some beats. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm like, come on. You know, I'm laughing at him. I'm like, man, I'm, my mama told me be humble. Mm -hmm. Same me coming up and me coming down. Mm -hmm. You don't know who somebody going to be. And look how I end up working. Me and Master P signing to Priority Records in 95. I signed April 13th. He signed April 17th. I'm good with these dates because this shit that changed my life. Right. Got my first hundred thousand dollar check, <laughs> twenty five thousand a month for six months. Then another hundred thousand advance uh, for some more records, and then another. I say, then I just made five hundred thousand on advance money. But I didn't sign as an artist. I did manufacturing distribution deal. Mm -hmm. Seventy six twenty four split. I signed with Mark, Cerami, uh, and Brian Turner. The same label, Dr. Dre, Easy E. I am actually here as a young you made it. But Master P, watch my formula of the flood. What's that? In '94, I put out ten albums produced by me in my house. Unheard of for a young. I ain't even 20 years old yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm so hungry. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna be the new Death Row. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be E40 in the click, be legit, sugar tea. That's me too. <laughs> yes, he folding them and Dr. Dre, that's my blueprints right there. In 95, they finally came with an offer because in 94, I started getting offered. Uh, we'll sign you as an uh, artist. We give you 13 points and 100,000 up front. Now, 100,000 sound great. 13 points don't sound great because I didn't really know. They didn't say percentage, 13%. 13 points. You got to figure out what the point was. Mm -hmm. If you don't ask, all you know back then, looking at the cash advancement. That bitch said 100,000. Three years with five year option. Okay, I can do three years with these folks for this money. <laughs> no, five year option mean they got five more years of their option, not yours. Right. So, Priority Records, they didn't do that. But Master P watched me in 94. Blood. Like, how this young killing me? Killing me. The youngest CEO. So, that's what killing he did. Me. 95, he dropped. Uh, no, 94, he dropped West Coast Bad Boys. Mm -hmm. He dropped a solo. Uh, he dropped one of the name Lil Rick. But in 95, when he got the deal, he said, boy, Fig, I'm my body. I'm going to go back to the South. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this game to the South. I didn't. He offered me to come down there, but I'm like, I don't know nothing about no South. You feel me? We California. Let's go. Little did I know he was going to use my formula on a big scale, though. Putting the album covers on the inside, I started that. I told him that. He said every now and then, but he didn't tell people back then. He like, hell nah, I'm a genius, I'm a genius. <laughs> and I used to be, I learned that jealousy is poison. Jealousy, if you can check your own jealousy, then you set yourself up to achieve. Envy is worse than jealousy. Well, I hope I hope he died. He got a movie coming out. I'm about it. It's banned in theaters. Oh shit! God, man, it's killing him. My deal flop. Why, big? Because I was still caught up in on this major skill. I'm gonna do everything myself. I'm an engineer. I'm a rapper. I'm making beats. Blah blah blah.